On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh sh it's Thursday. <laughs> the Monday after my photo shoot. This is the first day back in the dorms, kind of going back to my regular eating pattern, not necessarily consuming donuts and biscuits and gravy and all sorts of fun travel food uh, all day. So of course I tried to figure out what I wanted to have for dinner for my post-workout and guess what I came up with? Fish and vegetables because I almost broke. So today for my post-workout I made some breaded swai fish, a little filet there. I got some vegetables from downstairs, some julienne veggies, steaming up my camera. And then I heated up some frozen mixed veggies. First meal back, we just wanted something fresh, something light, something that's not super greasy and won't make me feel super heavy. It smells really, really good. I didn't necessarily miss vegetables, but I missed feeling not like I am stuffed full of donuts, which is uh, definitely an experience. But yes, back kind of on track, not eating donuts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Not the worst thing in the world. I miss my donuts, but I definitely also missed eating like a normal human being as well. Not gonna lie, I once again don't have anything to do with this footage. No idea what it's gonna be used for, but I wanted to show you guys this dinner because it just looks so tasty. Downstairs they were selling an acorn squash stuffed with a wild rice medley pilaf of some sort, so I decided to grab that. And then I also got some veggie patties on the side just because I really wanted some sort of savory meal, and of course, gonna have it with some ketchup, but I thought I would show you, because this is, look how just, how fancy this is. I cannot make that as a college student. No, I cannot. And then I packed away, I actually bought some veggies, I've eaten about, uh, almost all of them, uh, but I bought some roasted veggies, there was zucchini and just yellow squash, and I packed it up in a little Tupperware, and then for lunch I had half of that chicken breast because I was feeling sick and I really did not want to eat any proteins, I just needed to keep it simple, as well as this little lentil blend. Um, and those are just the things that I bought earlier on today and just packaged up in a little thing of Tupperware to have for later. So I realized the other day... <laughs> So I realized the other day that it's been kind of a while since I've taken you guys along with a little for a little grocery haul or showing you kind of what I picked up at the grocery store. I know I did a Vitacost haul a couple videos ago, but I feel like that doesn't really count because that's more of a special occasion type of thing. I wanted to kind of explain that real quick before I show you guys what I picked up. Um, I think the reason that I haven't actually been showing you guys very much what I've been getting at the groceries is because it's been pretty basic. Silk cashew milk and some swai fillets that I've been eating pretty frequently. And I think that's mostly because while well, I was traveling in Portland for a little while, Mother's Day came up and we, we and I had leftovers from that. I also visited my dad, got some leftovers from that. So my fridge was basically packed for quite a while with leftovers from various uh, meals that I've had with my family. And then also, um, since I started eating intuitively, I haven't really been planning my meals quite as much. So I might cut up some veggies and make like a stir fry ahead of time and just have that for, for the week. Um, but most of the time I'm just kind of buying things as they sound good. Especially because that's a lot easier to do with it when there's a cafeteria downstairs and there's a little salad bar. Um, notice how I'm not yelling at the buses today. So, so most of the time I just kind of go downstairs to the salad bar or go downstairs and buy some veggies and buy it or buy some proteins, for example, like a, a piece of chicken. Um, so I haven't really been doing a whole lot of meal prep or anything like that. And I haven't really been taking very frequent trips to the grocery stores and the things that I've been picking up have been kind of pretty boring so I've just kind of not been showing you guys. But it is Tuesday after the, after the photo shoot. The Piggy Panda and I went to the grocery store after we hit the gym and we picked up some things. The only thing I really planned on getting on this trip was the silk cashew milk because I go through it crazy, crazy fast. Like I have two of these containers a week so it drains my wallet pretty badly but I just, I love it. It's, it's good stuff. I highly recommend it, especially if you've been stuck on almond milk for a while. The silk unsweetened cashew milk is the best and the macros are better than almond milk even, which is crazy. But anyway, um, so I plan to pick up those two things. And then I also picked up some a few more fun items that I wanted to share with you guys because they're pretty macro friendly and they're kind of things that I've been craving. So I'll take you guys through my little mini mini Safeway QFC haul right now. So I did pick up two of these Silk Unsweetened Cashew Milk. There's 25 calories in a cup. It's super, super creamy. For a cup, there's one gram of carb, less than one gram of protein, and two grams of fat. 
not too bad at all, especially considering how creamy it is. It tastes much more like milk than almond milk does. I was also planning on picking up some frozen veggies because I've been eating vegetables pretty frequently lately. Um, my favorite is this mixed vegetables. It's carrots, corn, green beans, and green peas. Most of the time I just kind of pick out the green beans because I'm not a huge fan of them. I also picked up a little thing of peas and carrots as well as some frozen lima beans baby lima beans. And that's just for the sake of convenience so I can grab some veggies and throw them in the microwave instead of having to prep them or think ahead of time what what food am I going to eat. Um, these are going to be much easier for me than trying to plan ahead of time what I'm going to be craving that day. So got some veggies there. I also picked up one little instant packet of Uncle Ben's ready rice, long grain, and wild rice. This is probably my favorite flavor. There are two single cup servings per package um, and it is $2.50 or something like that per package so it's pretty expensive. It's much cheaper to buy the box itself, but like I said, I've been kind of um, still experimenting with intuitive eating, so I don't necessarily know what I'm going to be craving ahead of time, and I'm still trying to figure out a balance between planning planning out my meals and just kind of finding things as I crave them. So uh, these are much easier than trying to cup, cook up an entire box, even though it's a little more expensive. Hopefully as I figure out intuitive eating, it'll come a bit more naturally to figure out you know, how to plan ahead while at the same time being intuitive and getting what I want. So, kind of more of an impulse buy, and this is kind of a funny story because it is apparently a laxative tea. Um, but I saw this on the clearance shelf at QFC, um, and I saw that it was chocolate tea, which I was kind of fascinated by at first uh, because I really like uh, chocolate because I like tea and I like chocolate so I was hoping to try it out. Um, I also know this is the brand of the roasted dandelion root tea that I get and I really like it. Um, but then I noticed that it's a laxative tea and it's supposed to be relieve occasional constipation so I just bought it because it's chocolate and I like this brand. Everything in that regard is running smoothly so please don't give me any crap for it. I'm so funny. Also went over to Safeway and I picked up some of this broccoli coleslaw. It looks like it's pretty easy to make. It's washed and ready to eat. It doesn't come any sort with any sort of sauce so I decided to pick up this kind of an impulse buy but Boathouse Farms caramelized sweet onion yogurt dressing. Uh, the macros for it are really good. Matty Fusaro is a big fan of I believe the chipotle flavor of this. Uh, but the macros are awesome for two tablespoons. It's four grams of carbs, two grams of fat, and one gram of protein. I am not a huge salad connoisseur, but I hope that I'll be able to mix some of this caramelized sweet onion uh, with broccoli coleslaw. I know you can buy regular coleslaw sauce, but I decided to go with this one because I do like things a little sweeter. Uh, we'll try it out. Hopefully that will be part of my diet because I do want to get more vegetables in. And I do like kind of a sweeter crunch to my salads. Also at Safeway, I picked up some of this Pasta Zero Shirataki Fettuccine haven't had this for quite a while actually. The macros, of course, it's shirataki noodles, so they're pretty good. Uh, basically for the entire container, for this entire thing, it's eight grams of carbs, six, six grams of fiber, two grams of protein, no fat. So lots of fiber in there. You can also supplement these two things together if you know what I mean. And finally, the last part of my haul, I got these little Betty Crocker Decadent Supreme Sprinkles that are super, super tasty. I have one of these in German chocolate cake. I saw them because they were on sale for 89 cents for the container. I bought one of these with German chocolate cake about two months ago, and I've been using it pretty frequently. This one is red velvet cake, and this one is carrot cake. I don't really know the macros. I don't really care to know. The macros are okay. You know, one teaspoon, three grams of carbs. I just like to use a little bit on a recipe that I haven't actually shown you guys yet. Even though I've been eating it so frequently, I've just kind of been waiting for the perfect timing to share it with you. It's basically a chocolate a chocolate casein protein mousse that's also kind of like a pie and it's so versatile and it's so tasty, but I still haven't recorded any footage of it uh, because I've been waiting for kind of the perfect moment to share it with you. But I've been putting those sprinkles on top of it so they're very tasty and I'm excited to try out the carrot cake and the red velvet ones as well uh, but anyway kind of rambly ramble over I am procrastinating on doing homework I just dropped my camera lens over there no big deal I have not yelled at any buses today which is kind of an accomplishment in itself I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul all right guys I wanted to show you this little post workout meal that I had because it's relatively normal I would say or I guess something a little closer to normal for most fitness people. I uh, know you guys probably watched the video that I had all sorts of weird food cravings after my gym workout, so I've always been I've been having like savory and salty things. I'm finally having something that's 
more or less acceptable, I feel like, to have as a post-workout. So I thought I would share with you real quick. I uh, Here I have a little protein mousse that I made with a sample of this Quest Protein Strawberries and Cream, a cup of silk cashew milk, some sugar-free, fat-free Jello mix, as well as some xanthan gum just to give it a little bit of extra volume. And on that, I put some fat-free whipped cream, as well as this cute little Betty Crocker red velvet cake sprinkle mix that's super tasty, just to give it a little bit of extra, extra specialness so I can enjoy it more, and it's so super tasty. I'm really, really excited for it. And then on the side, I'm gonna have some quick carbs as well. I'm going to have this Fiber One Cinnamon Coffee Cake, super tasty, and it smells amazing out of the box. So it's an almost normal post-workout meal, except it's, except it's delicious. Hey guys, now as promised, since you are at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some of the photos that we got back from the photo shoot. I'm super excited. I got them back on Friday. The photographer took a little bit of a few days just to just to process them and do, do a little bit of touch up. But I have them back. I have about 13 of them, but I will be releasing them in smaller chunks. Now I've already posted a few of these on Instagram, so if you're not following me on there, go ahead and do that. I am at Tally Schlaff and I have it posted on the screen. And the link to my Instagram is also in the comments below, so follow me there so that you can stay up to date. I also post a lot more lifting footage on there and I hit a PR the other day, as in yesterday, but for you guys it's probably a few days ago. So I actually ended up purchasing about 13 or 14 photos, but I don't want to just dump them all at once. I'm going to kind of put them out in chunks and I've been posting one every day on Instagram. So as promised, here are four or five of the photos. We kind of have a little mix of studio and in gym and different kind of style. I was much more comfortable in the gym than I was in initially in the studio as you guys saw in the other video. I'm definitely really really happy with it. If you want something to work towards and you don't necessarily want to compete or put yourself through that, definitely I would recommend doing some sort of photo shoot. Google search photographers in your area if you want to make it a trip, make it a state away or make it a little bit farther away. But it was definitely really fun and it was a lot more relaxed than necessarily having to do uh, like a bikini or a competition prep and it was much more practical for my goal goals and what I am looking to get out of fitness and out and, and more the healthy lifestyle necessarily than the competition lifestyle. Also a benefit of doing a photo shoot instead of a bikini competition, you don't necessarily have to spend $200, $400 on a bikini, you can actually spend that money on workout clothes and stuff, which is really fun because I got like three new sports bras and a bunch of new tops. But girly fitness things aside, so I've been asking you guys questions in the last couple videos and I really like the feedback and actually hearing you guys' responses and getting to interact with you guys and getting to know you guys. So you saw in this video that I was actually eating more vegetables and kind of changing my diet around as the summer is rolling around, as the weather's getting nicer, so I want to know from you guys, as the weather is changing, as it's getting warmer, hopefully where you live, I mean Seattle's getting warmer so it's gotta get warm elsewhere, right? As the weather's getting nicer, as it's getting warmer, as it's getting sunnier, how has your diet changed? Have you noticed any changes? Are you eating maybe less heavy food and more fruits and vegetables or not? Maybe more ice cream, maybe more cold stuff? What kind of changes have you noticed in your own eating habits as the weather's getting warmer? Personally, you guys have seen I'm eating more vegetables and more fruits just because that's kind of I'm craving that crunchy and the freshness as opposed to in the winter, I crave a lot more heavy, hearty soup kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button yet. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and like the video for me. That would really help me out a lot. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, don't stop growing.